Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokum Battle Linking Guide video. Today we're going to be talking about the Unwavering Bond, Tien, and Chiaotzu. Uh, so this is the LR from the World Tournament. This is the one that took the local ranking from Piccolo. So he is the replacement for Piccolo. Piccolo is now available in the uh, in the actual summons from the World Tournament, the World Tournament summons. That's how you're going to get him from now on. Uh, Tien is now the replacement. So you're going to need to get Tien. And uh, I mean, this isn't going to be the video on how to Doken Awaken him or anything like that. But pretty much you go here, you get this Tien over here. Um, it's just Awaken as Martial Artist Tien. You, he is semi-formable, which means there are SRs of him. You're going to want, you would preferably want to get him to Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken him. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. Actually, he also has, I think, this event over here, uh, Beyond the Limits TN. I don't know if this is still available. I think it should, it should still be available uh, available on Agility Day. So you can go over here and, and grind this out from the, the Full Hearted Fighter TN. Go ahead, get him out. Uh, what, I, what I would honestly probably do is just Doken Waken him if you have the World Tournament medals. That's like the... Uh, um, the Balma medals and the Turtle medals. That way you can Doken Wake and get the guaranteed chance to increase his super attack. Um, once you're done with that, get him with the super attack 10. Um, and this guy will Doken Wake in to his, uh, his TUR form. As TUR form is Tien and Chiaotzu, you're not going to be able to increase his super attack that way. Because there's no other Tien and Chiaotzu cards. Um, and then you can go ahead and um, get him up. Here, like that, just like that. Get him up to uh, Super Attack 20 once he's in LR. You don't really need to. I don't think he's really worth it or doesn't really warrant it because you don't need that extra 30% of damage, but you can do it if you want to. Um, I, I would honestly just be the type to just continuously grind out Tien and Chiaotzu or the Tien card from the World Tournament until I have all four dupads pads unlocked. Get him up to Super Attack 10 with those cards uh, outside of the ones I pull and feed into him, obviously. Um, or, or if I want to do the grind to Super Attack 10. Doken Waken him to LR, and then get another TN and do the other, the same exact grind, get him to Super Attack 10, then Doken Waken him up to LR, and then feed him into this LR for Super Attack 20. Um, it's a little bit of a grind fest, obviously, it's an LR, it's a free-to-play LR, but he's not horrible, he's not great either, he's perfect for a World Tournament team, just because of that high cost, the high team cost, uh, the LR status, which means increased drop rates for Hercule statues, uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. Leader ability is all types of attack and defense plus 100% super attack, double dote on Ray, 12 to 17 key, uh, strike of bond, 18 plus key, uh, the double dote on Ray is colossal damage, rare chance to stun the enemy, um, the strike of bond, mega colossal damage with chance to stun the enemy, which means higher chance to stun the enemy. Warriors of Earth's Metal, uh, attack plus 10,000 keys, 8 or more, defense plus 10,000 keys, 11 or more, uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10,000 keys, 14 or more. So you're going to shoot for at least 14 key, obviously you're going to want to get the 18 key if you can, uh, but 14 key is really the, uh, the epitome of how much extra damage he's going to do from his passive. Uh, again, obviously you want to do as much as you possibly can. Laying skills are Z Fighters, Crane School, Dote on Ray, Master and Pupil, Shocking Speed, Shattering Limit, Legendary Power. Now, from the linking guide that I saw, um, Z Fighters, Shattering Limit, Legendary Power, and Shocking Speed are the four most common link skills. Uh, obviously, uh, Crane School, Dote on Ray, and Master and Pupil, these are all like TN oriented. So, I mean, like, even Master and Pupil, that almost has nothing there. It's all TN, yeah, it's all TN and Chiaotzu. So, it's only a TN and Chiaotzu link. So honestly, unless you're going to run a TN alongside him, I mean, I guess supposedly you could you could technically get um, a second TN, the first TN from this, and get him up the Super Attack 10 with all four Dupas unlocked, and then use those two as linking buddies for each other. Um, I, I suppose that would be a good idea. You could definitely do that. I don't recommend doing it because it's not really worth it. Uh, but yeah, you could definitely do that, to, at least to get uh, some of these links off. But anyway, uh, Z Fighters, Crane School, Dote on Ray, Master and Pupil, Shocking Speed, Legendary Power, Shattering the Limit. He's part of the World Tournament category. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 15,266, attack of 13,723, and defense of 8,526. Now, I don't recommend doing dupe system for this guy at all, uh, just because, like, for the Piccolo, we never had um, uh, an event that came around. We only had it from, like, the uh, the LR Androids and for the Freeze and for the Goku, where you get everything fed back to you. I don't think this is ever going to be a thing for the LR Tien and Chiaotzu. So don't feed in um, dupe system if, unless you plan on like unless you really like the card and you plan on using them. I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, but you could do it if you want to. They have some decent stats. Uh, passive skill is going to be or passive skill clarification. When key is 14 or more. Tian shouts again a total of attack and defense plus 20,000, and they need to attack to activate their passive skill. So uh, I'm assuming that means if they are uh, sealed, they can't. They won't, it won't go off. Uh, 12 key, or I'm sorry, and it won't go off until they attack, which means if they're in the first slot and someone's attacking before that, you won't get the defensive buff. 12 key multiplies 140%, and 24 key multiplies 100, uh, 200%. That's really kind of low, I think. Um, maximum super attack level is 20, which increases super attack multiplier by an additional 30%. Um, and method for super attack level 20 kind of makes sense from what I was saying before. Uh, super attack, yeah, see, so yeah, use, yeah. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, replace second world tournament robot. 100 million. Okay, well, we're not going to talk about that because I already told you what you should do. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here that's really relevant to what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the linking guide. This is just the Tien and Chiaotu over here. Um, this is the um, every single character that they do link with. Uh, for very well for three or more. So the LR, Goten, and Trunks link the best with him. For Z Fighters, with his only attack, growth attack buff for attack plus 15%. So uh, you can definitely run them together because they're both agilities, super agilities, uh, mind you. Uh, they have Shocking Speed and Shining Limit, which is 4 key, and Legendary Power, which is uh, 5,000 attack buff. So those two are going to do very, very well together, especially they both are on the World Tournament Saga team or category, so that's definitely very, very viable. The LR Trunks a little bit just because he has the Legendary Power. If he didn't have Legendary Power, it would only be 2 for 4 key. Uh, two link skills for 4key, not really worth it in my opinion, but they do link together. Now you have the TUR Gohan over here, he's a support unit, but he does link with them uh, for Z Fighters and 4key. So yeah, that's actually a pretty damn decent unit, because not only is he giving him Z Fighters, his passive skill as well, um, which is what over here, all allies attack and defense plus 35% very well. And then the Great Saiyaman, who also links with the other Great Saiyaman, which we already talked about, Great Saiyaman 1 and 2. Same thing as the Gohan, Z Fighters and Shocking Speed and Shattering Limit, so 4key and 15% attack buff. So in terms of best linking buddies, he's not horrible. I mean, you're not going to really do, be doing a lot of damage, but he does have the Mega Colossal with those LR stats. So he will be doing better damage than a standard unit. So I, I could definitely see you running him on a team um, if you're lacking good units, especially if you're a newer player. But uh, if you guys are looking for mono agility, these two are probably going to be the best bets for him. Uh, and plus, remember, the Great Saiyan Man, he is a support unit. So he's giving all everyone key plus two. So not only does he give four key from his link skills, he gives two key. So he's going to get hit with six key. So if you're running a double three key leader, that means you're going to be automatically starting off a 12 key multiplier. You only need two more key for this guy to get off his, um, uh, his full passive, which is attack and defense plus 40,000. That's freaking awesome. Uh, these guys don't do it, but they're very self-sufficient, so you really need to worry about it. But it just leaves this guy kind of in the wind. Uh, but yeah, that's available for him for best linking buddies overall. You have a decent amount of people to link with him, especially if you're running like a super team. Um, in terms of mono agility team, as you see over here, it's pretty much everyone on the same team that we had already talked about. Um, the LR Goten and Trunks, the Mighty Mass version of that, the TUR links for two link skill, shocking speed, shattering limit. I'm not going to go over all these because there's just way too many of them. But... Uh, for the LRs, just know that they're not going to... They have uh, the legendary power. They're not going to have everything. It's probably going to only be key. Yeah, that's key, and that's key. Everyone else over here pretty much links them for two key, or for two link skills, and most of most of it is going to be at least two key that, that, because most of these guys get Shattering the Limit. So pretty much most of these, or all of these guys, will have Shattering the Limit with them. So uh, you have Birder, you have Beerus, you have Super Saiyan Goku, um, you have the Kaioken Goku... Uh, the Super Vegeta and Arale, which is interesting, but yeah, Arale is there. So that, that's your choices for Mono Agility. Really nothing special. If you're going to run Mono Agility, you're really going to want the LR, Goten, and Trunks. Obviously, they are a summonable LR. Not everyone has them. The androids are free to play, and that's uh, two link skills. So you have Shocking Speed and Legendary Power, which is two key and a flat-out buff. So uh, that's probably going to be your best other bet. Otherwise, the Baba Shop, uh, it's great say, man, is going to be your next, you your, your should be your primary first bet. Uh, to go for if you don't have either of these LRs. But yep, definitely, that's, that's my recommendation, is the Great Saiyan Man for those of you who are free to play. For those of you who've gotten lucky enough to summon the LR Goten and Trunks, that'll probably be my next bet for best linking buddies. In terms of World Tournament Team, um, you don't really need to worry about it too much. It's really only for the Hercules anything that comes out daily. But uh, just know that you want all three of these LRs if you have them. Um, the Hercules free, uh, the, uh, the Tien and Chao is now going to be World Tournament free. And then you have the summonable LR. Luckily, I have the summonable LR. Um, the, the Hercule I have also set up, and now I have this guy. This will increase the drop rates of those Hercule statues. Pretty much you want anything that's the highest cost. So LR is definitely going to be on the list, these three. Plus, you want to bring a friend LR, and then any TURs that you could bring. And these are all TURs that are on here that at least link with them anyway. I mean, the World Tournament team for TURs right here on the left-hand side. So pretty much just bring all any of these guys, and you should be in a good spot. Um, I did really quick want to see um, the... Tien and Chiaotu, um, the Tien here. So he links with himself for three link skills, which I thought was going to be more. Um, so he only links, it's funny, he only links here with the Tien only traits, which is Crane School, Master, and Pupil, and Dodon Ray. So, I mean, if you're really trying to get this guy's, all this link skills up, you're going to keep him in the middle. And then you could throw, like, the uh, Great Saiyan um, or the LR Goten and Trunks right on the, on the end over here, <clears throat> and you should be good. Uh, actually, let's get rid of the extreme ones over here, and we should be able... Let me see. Oh, we, I need, the LRs are there, so why aren't, why aren't you showing up? Great Saiyan Man, and then LR Goten and Trunks. 
Yeah, LR Goten and Trunks. So that way he has all of his Link skills set off. Uh, but yeah, that's just to get that's just to maximize him. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. I mean, it's pretty much a short video. There's nothing really special about him. I don't think he's going to be viable to run unless you're a brand new player and you don't have a lot of good uh, super agility types, or if you just like the end Chiao Tu. I mean, I don't know why you would like Chiao Tu, but whatever. If you like him, that's your thing. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I will definitely be doing an LR Beers video at some point as well. I just want to, you know, I have I, this is a shorter video, so I had time to actually talk about it. Uh, the LR Beers, I'm gonna have to do some research on and do a little bit more in-depth uh, team building because he's gonna be part of different categories. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later.